Okay, so last week you saw what happened with the Airstream and the hole that is in there right now. And I just have it covered up with a bag and I've been procrastinating really badly to go into the Airstream because I'm like grossed out at that hole there and the poop, the amount of poop that there is in there, dried up, dried stuff. And some people have made some suggestions. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. But right now... measure the hole because my idea is for temporarily right now so that I can continue to work in there is to cap it off you so let's go because I've got to run out the door I've got to go drop off Christian and I've got to exercise my walk out in the trails and so I got to get that done now so let's go I'm gonna measure the hole. There's no light in here. Oh gosh. It's gotta be able, I gotta be able to fit that. The hole is I is about four inches. Oh, it's so creepy in there. So it's about five and a half on the top circular part. That must be the part for the toilet but the actual hole is four inches in diameter. So I'm gonna have to find a plug that I can screw or something and get it in there and then that way I don't feel creeped out about this hole. Oh, this is five. This would fit into the wood floor hole. Test cap. It's more, this is more than, oh, but we're gonna measure from this side. Hold on, because we're gonna put it inside. Is this four? Oh, this is four, this'll fit. I think we got it. This is what I was originally coming here for, was for this, or I was looking for this or this. This is what you'll find in an RV park. This one, this one's gonna be too small, I think, because this one's gonna be about two or three. What is this, three inches. So this is three inches. This is gonna be way too small. And then this one is going to be, this is a little bigger than four, so this is gonna be too big. I think we're gonna go with this. This will probably fit in that hole and I could just duct tape it for now. this just why doesn't it fit in there all right well you know what guys I put the cap in there 
And I'm going to shove this bag. That doesn't give me the creepies like the other way was. I'm just going to shove. So that so that little cap is in there. You know. And well, I'm, it's in there, but not really in there. Well, it's in there. And with this thing in there, I know it's not going to lift off. So I'm just going to shove this bag in there for now. Because my point, my reason for this, okay, I have to clean all that rotten wood in there. And there's even a comb back here. Yeah, there's a comb here. So my problem is I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be anywhere near this hole where I can get contaminated. But there's, there's a lot of, look at this. This is a, this is all rotten wood. Oh, crap. This is all rotten wood here. And, um... Okay, this wall is sealed up, so none of the water got into there, hopefully. But um, there is light coming in through here, which I think is odd. I'll have to get down there later. There's an opening here, and all of this cabinet is, is also... Um, I mean, I don't have my mask on, so I don't want to do anything right now, but um, that's something that I'll have to work on this week. Thankfully, it's all dried up, so that'll be easy to clean up, and then I can... Get a flashlight in there and um, and research it better. Oof. See what I'm gonna do as far as changing, uh, cutting a p cutting that wood and then having to um, get another piece of wood. Okay, in there. guys. So you just saw me capping in the hole. Unfortunately, the cap wasn't a tight fit, but I mean it doesn't freak me out as much. Uh, it is dried stuff, so I just want to be able to know that. There's no contaminants coming back in the air. So what I did was I put the cover like you saw, and then the bag I shoved, the contractor's bag, it's it's a thick ply bag, and I shoved it into the hole just to make sure that it stays in there and doesn't move the cap that I bought. I mean, it was $2.60. I'm not going to go back to Lowe's to bring that back and then, you know, look for another one because it seems to be that from everything that I saw there, there's really nothing that's going to fit that size because it's usually three or four or five. I was in the plumbing section. I didn't really go to any other thing. I mean, I could have invented something else, but it is what it is. So we're going to leave that for now, for right now. This is just going to be a temporary solution uh, for now so that I can uh, continue to work in there. My idea is once the brakes are done and the tires are put in um, and that gets serviced and we can actually roll the RV out and I think the toilet is going to get installed at an RV park. I think that's the best place to do that because we can test the line, test the system and, um, and flush out the toilet. So, but before that I actually get to that point, my idea is to do what some people recommended. The, the uh, sewer on the outside is open. There's no cap there. I have to buy a cap for the outside. So right now I just have like, I have some like an old towel shoved in there because I don't want any mice or any rodents or any gophers or anything getting in there. So that's in there. I have to buy a actual sewer cap for um, the sewer on the outside. So what I'll do is fill the tank with water with my hose and um, but we will need to have a, a better we will have, need to have a solution for some type of a cap that we can get in there because once the water goes in there man that thing is going to smell so i have to i will have to find a better way to cap this thing because i'm going to have to let the water sit in the tank for a while with probiotics like some people said it's called tank tech RX. If you go to my video from last week, some people suggested that. That's a probiotic for your tank, so it eats away at the stuff and it liquefies it. So then we went when we get to the RV park, all of that stuff that's been sitting there hard for so long will liquefy and we can get it out. I think that's this is my idea for now. If anybody has a better suggestion, let me know. I know the other idea was all pro water flow, and they have. Um, private they have dealers across the country you can go to their website I'm gonna link it here I'm gonna show you their website they will come out to you and they will clean your tank so that's another solution I could call them and find out what it's gonna to cost to have somebody come out here and clean out that tank but remember the tank has dried stuff in there I can't call them and find out in this instance what do they do do they have a vacuum or something that they pick this up with a special vacuum I don't know so this is all stuff that I'll be bringing on the channel because as you know this is all new to me I, I really I don't know what to do at this point, but I know that right now I 
don't have the time with all the stuff that I'm doing right now to get to that point. I just want to start working on the Airstream. That toilet thing is something that we'll just have to wait a little bit. That's so those are the two suggestions. One is I have to find a better cap so that I can fill it with water and put the probiotic and leave it there for at least a month or so so that the stuff starts breaking down. When we get to an RV park, I can flush it. I can, you know, do all this stuff to the tank, clean it out well, put in the new toilet, whatever. That's one option. Number two is I'm not sure what's going to happen with the toilet. Now, remember, I'm going to buy a new toilet, and I don't know how good this tank is. I have thought about a composting toilet, okay? And Nature's Head, I got some comments about Nature's Head being like one of the best. I think John S. and Todd R., they mentioned that. And yes, that is an idea because my septic sewer is at the front of the house and in order for them to do an extension for the um, for the sewer i have to go under my driveway for something like that and that's going to be a big problem so i might decide to go with a compost toilet i think maybe the compost toilet is the solution for us so we don't have to do any expenses so have a portable tank system i really don't like using that that's really i tried that once with my travel trailer here and it was just a mess a smelly mess trust me because my sewer at the front of the house is under some hedges and it's raised up off the ground like this and when you're pouring that stuff in there it's just it's a nightmare so i really don't want to have to go that way so the composting toilet might be an option i'm not sure if that's what i do i'm just worried about when I, if i have if i use it as a guest house where people come over are people going to be feel comfortable using a compost toilet? Most people that I, at least my family and friends, they're really not into like the composting thing and the poop thing. They just, you know, they're like everybody else. They want to flush it and they don't want to worry about it. So this is why I'm just doing what I'm doing as a temporary fix because I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still up in the air about my choices and I don't want to make a rash de decision and just, you know, do whatever. So I'm going to just do that for now. There's a lot of great information on that website for the All Pro Flow. So if you guys are in this situation, they have dealers across the country, you can call them and see if they'll come out to you and flush your tanks and help you with anything like that. The Tank Tech RX is the first time that I've heard about it. I've bought some other things for my RV, but I never had this kind of a situation where I'm really going to need to break down a lot of gunk that's in this tank. So I am definitely going to purchase that. And by the way, I did notice a real interesting information about Tank Tech it's made by the same company in three different names. The most expensive is Tank Tech RX. That one is like the high, it's the same product, it just has three different names. The middle price is called Older Away, and the, the cheapest one is ScentGuard. It's all the same product by the same company, but it has three different names. If you want the cheaper one, buy the ScentGuard. It's the same as the, ta as the Tank Tex RX, it's just the cheaper the cheap it's just the cheapest price so make sure you find that because um that's probably what i'm gonna get because if it's the same if it's the same recipe and it's just a different name i don't really care i'm gonna buy that by the way i did research on the all pro water flow the closest dealer to me is in orlando and that's that's a good ways away so i will call them this week and find out exactly how they charge and what they do and then i'll bring that on my next video so stay tuned for that guys thanks for watching and uh, have a great day bye if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share it and please subscribe she's so scared of the hole she's so scared of the hole she, <laughs> she ran out like a bat out of hell